This video is to explain what the black keys are on the keyboard. A lot of people call them the sharps and flats, but the sharps and flats can really be any keys on a keyboard, even though we're going to stick to that today for this video. So, we know that this is C, and that's F. We're going to fill in the other letters. F, G, A, and B. Now, a sharp raises a note by one half step, which is exactly one key, not skip any white or black keys. A flat lowers a note by one half step. And what do we mean by one half step? Well, here to here would be a half step, here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. Basically, two keys that are perfectly next to each other are going to be a half step. So what we're going to do is if we're going this way, we're going higher in pitch. So C, if we want to raise it a half step, oh, we call that C sharp. D, well, here's the next key up. We'll call that D sharp. F, the next black key up here would be F sharp. And that's as close as two notes can be in our Western system of music. G raised a half step is G sharp. A raised a half step is A sharp. But what about the flats, Mr. Ballard? Well, let's start here. B, if we flat it, it lowers it by a half step. So B, lower it to B flat. A, lower it to A flat. G, lower it to G flat. E, lower it to E flat. And of course, D, we can lower it to D flat. Now, do notice that there is no black key between E and F. Um, you will hear about F sharp more than F flat or E flat more than E sharp. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, they generally call them that, unless you get into some crazy keys. Um, right here, there is another lack of a black key between B and what would be C here. There's no black key there as well. So notice that each black key essentially has two names. This can be C sharp if you raise it, or D flat if you fall back. So we can raise them up, or we can fall them back. And that's really all there is to these. So, black keys on the keyboard, not a big deal.